Hi everyone, welcome back to HS Collectibles. This is Cody, and this is one I was excited about for a while. Um, I haven't had it on order uh, for a long time or anything, but I first saw these about maybe three years ago at a convention in Louisville, and I knew I had to get one. The price was kind of high there, uh, but I did manage to find one on Amazon for what I thought was a good price. So it's uh, Christine in a 1 18th scale die cast from auto world and uh, what i like about it is you know it's not just a, a plymouth model it's actually a licensed christine product so uh, I, I think that's that's kind of cool i've seen you know lots of model kits and things for a 58 fury and it's red but you know it doesn't say christine on it so uh anyway just taking a look at the package so like i said this is from auto world from their silver screen machines line 1958 plymouth fury you can uh, see your see your front end there and uh, on the back i like is kind of a nice shot of her and it tells you uh you know she is seductive she is passionate she is possessive she is pure evil uh, so Christine, of course, one of my favorite movies. Um, always uh, said that I wanted to have a. Uh, and that's messed up because of me. I did have this open earlier. Uh, it's actually a, a Chrysler licensed product too. So I had it opened earlier to get a, a good look at it and get it out. So I just wanted to show what it looked like in the box. So I'm going to take it out of the box and we'll come right back to it and here she is out of the box so uh, uh, just taking a quick look around her um, I've got the headlights turned on right now I did not know that this had light up headlights when I bought it uh, but that's really a, a selling point for sure uh, that is so cool looking and I'm going to turn off the lights here for you just so you can get a, a look at how it looks in the dark isn't that cool I, I really like that I think uh, you know she ought to be sitting there playing, uh, you know, with a uh, 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 little bitty pretty one or some other tune from the movie. But that's just too cool. I love it that it lights up. I did not know it when I ordered it, and when I got it out of the box and started uh, uh, looking around, I noticed this uh, battery door here. Uh, and thought, oh, oh wow, it's got lights. I had no idea. So that was just a nice bonus. Uh, engine transmission drive shaft dual exhaust all kinds of good details that there's a steering linkage hooked up here and uh, it's pretty it's accurate for Chrysler steering linkage which kind of went to the back and then up I um, always thought that was kind of interesting uh, but the car itself the uh, hood opens the uh, uh, both doors open and the trunk opens so in the trunk she has her spare and one piece of uh, detail here that I really like in the trunk is they put in the filler tube from the gas cap down to the gas tank just a nice detail and then uh, uh, sh her back end she's got the uh, the right license plate CQB 241 of course her name across the back um, this probably could have had a touch of chrome paint on the end of it for the lock, but I'll let them slide on it. I love the paint on it. I think it looks great. Um, looking under the hood, uh, pretty detailed under the hood. Um, you can see power steering, alternator, water pump. Uh, it's got her, even got her bypass hose, heater hoses. Um, of course the block is gold Christine had a, a 350 uh, big block golden commando edition engine I believe it was called uh, with dual four barrels and uh, of course there's her battery radiator couple horns here in the front I just I really like that they they could have skimped on doing detail under the hood and, and didn't uh, so so very very good on them and uh, of course you know, love that front end love love how Christine looks from the front uh, now turning it around take a look at the inside uh, this is definitely worth a look 
let me just tilt it up a little bit here for you get the light in there she has carpet inside uh, which is a nice touch separate brake and gas pedal uh, there's the controls on the left side for her push button transmission uh, the gauge cluster looks good uh, just very neat very detailed um, I'm not uh, not disappointed at all in this I'm glad I finally uh, picked it up after all this time so uh, oh I forgot to mention yeah the uh, the wheels do move with the steering wheel uh, which is cool but uh, yeah the switch is right underneath here and you can turn her on and and uh, have her on the shelf I'm not too sure how long the LEDs would last on a set of batteries it's not something I'd probably leave on all the time uh, it'd be kinda nice really if it had a timer to it you know maybe if you turn them on and they just stayed on for five or ten minutes but eh, I'm asking for too much I guess I'm just happy with how it looks and and uh, happy that I picked it up so uh, with that like and subscribe more videos to come uh, you know video every Tuesday and Friday and I uh, hope you come back and see me thanks